Three dudes, three friends, three family. We're the unprofessionals. Welcome. Who the hell are we? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we are just like some gamers that just got to. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. Um, we're a three longtime friends. Well, uh, Justin and I are cousins. Um, but I'm the outsider. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not family. I don't, des I don't deserve. He's somewhat game. official, but not the. Uh, you know. But anyway, um, we just get whoa, together. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I've known this dude since high school, but you've known him. All your life. Right. <laughs> right. Oh, okay, that, I'll back. That off. qualifies you as family. It's <laughs> <laughs> been like fifth, over fifteen years, so yeah, that yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. yeah. Uh, we went to high school together, me and um, well, I'm Noel. Nice to meet you guys. Um, that's Justin, James. James. Um, mm -hmm. We went to high school. Uh, me and Justin went to high school uh, together, and um, I remember you had a lot of games. And you tried to steal one. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Extended borrow. <laughs> you know, like, you know, you got an Eastman video. <laughs> you, you read that video. <laughs> you don't forget some things. <laughs> you read that video. Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> <laughs> and you never wanted to give I, it back. I was going to give it back. I wasn't done. I wanted all the extra, man. I wanted that stuff. <laughs> yeah, you had, yeah, you had like a huge lot of games and. I still have a lot. I, at least I kept all my classic like PS1, PS2 games. Uh, and like the Sega Saturn games, I remember and Sega Genesis. But, yeah, it was it was always something new. Like my Dreamcast, this guy lost my controller. I did so not. I <laughs> <laughs> we have I we have a long history. Again, me and Justin have a long history of um, him lying <laughs> about me <laughs> taking his stuff, but. Um, every, I mean, like, we, you know, at, in high school, you know, we don't have cars until, like, we're, like, seniors. But, you know, we'd have sleepovers and whatnot, play video games. I remember coming into this guy's house, I'm walking through, and he has a Sega Saturn. And like you said, <laughs> he, he was a big Sega guy, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, who has a Sega Saturn? Like, what games? I know Knights was, came out for it, and Daytona USA... Hell about yeah. it. Every arcade game on the planet was up that thing. <laughs> the launch for that thing was actually surprisingly strong. Like there was what Clockwork Knight, and oh, Virtual Clockwork Fighter, I remember Virtual Fighter, Virtual Fighter one and well, one. Uh, I don't know if anyone remembers Bug. That was actually Bug pretty was fun. Like, I like Bug. Yeah. I did not play that. Um, and I do not remember. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like the, <laughs> the Sega Saturn was actually pretty legit. Like I was actually kind of paying attention to that more than like the PlayStation but mm -hmm. like after Resident Evil was just for PlayStation I was like oh it's, it's official I'm getting one that's like if I had to choose between the two I'll get a PlayStation because I love yeah. Resident Evil so. yeah <laughs> I think I got my PlayStation like a year after it came out it was a while though I just had like ballerina Toshinden nah. that was like um <laughs> when did the PlayStation come out 90s Five? Yeah, I think 95. I didn't yeah. get mine until 97. Yeah, I didn't get mine until like 97, which was like middle school. Mm -hmm. And then that's when like... What was like, your first game? Um, It was actually... Toll Ball number one. Oh, yeah. Man. That was my first <laughs> game. And it came with the Final, it came with the Final Fantasy demo. demo. Yeah. I still have it. So, um, That's how I know. I remember I'd come over and we'd play that a lot. Toll Ball? Yeah. yeah it not, was, not the demo? I well, played no, the no, demo no, like the demo. twice, but I love the demo. But yeah, like we were in, it was like the 3D fighting game mm -hmm. Rise. So you had, yeah, yeah, you had um, Virtual Fighter, Tekken 2, because I never played Tekken 1. But mm -hmm. and then Tobol number one was like this brand new thing, and it's like, oh, SquareSoft made a fighting game. Yeah, like, it looked like DBZ. Yeah, yeah, Ball. yeah. <laughs> um, to Toriyama, Toriyama yeah, had Toriyama. the design. Toriyama. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, it was cool that it came with the Final Fantasy VII, like, demo disc. Yeah, there but... was, like, icing on the cake. Yeah, <laughs> but, was, yeah, that was my first game initially, so. I mean, but back then, like, even though I loved, like, Final Fantasy III and all that, I didn't I didn't realize how much I would love Seven and mm -hmm. how it would get me back into RPGs, like, really hardcore. <laughs> and that's what got everybody, like, back into them. Yeah, like, regardless if you the... hate that game or not, that game made everyone come back I exactly think. or it, it made the hype come back right yeah like everyone just opened up to jrpgs and just like the yeah, story the style mm -hmm. well i mean like you look at the 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 gap 
I mean, Final Fantasy VI or Final Fantasy III in the U.S. on SNES mm -hmm. came out. 93? 90. 90, I think it was like 93 Japan, 94 um, in the US. Something like that, yeah. But it was, yeah, it was between 93 and 94. And the next game that came out um, by Scorsoft would have been I think, Chrono Trigger right. in 95. Yeah, it was Chrono yeah. Trigger. But no other Final Fantasy um, game came out, like on the main consoles. I'm not sure about like Game Boy or whatever that was out. But you had that long gap, and with the whole um, expectation or that whole rumor talk of Nintendo and Sony getting together to make their own system, you know, like everybody's like hype. But it like, really happened. It, huh? <laughs> they really made one. It yeah, they. Yeah, but I mean, like in terms of like <coughs> um, production, like did it? I mean, did they really have a production model? No. I mean, you had to wait. And all the developers, in my, you know, in my opinion, were like waiting or seeing where what system they're gonna transition to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, maybe. So I mean, they had that long period for like the Final Fantasy franchise to like, or that brand. You know, they had that long period to get to like '97, or that's when yeah. Final Fantasy VII was released. And for the fans, of course, it was like super hype. Like everybody, you know, that's what revived or like kind of boosted. JRPGs or RPGs in general. So weird that Square jumped ship to Sony all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. So I mean, as I mean, as uh, as you guys can tell, like we enjoy a lot of RPGs. Um, and then going back to the fighting games, uh, we do enjoy Street Fighter. Yeah. You know, and just okay. fighting games in general. We'll, we'll try, um, you know, new ones here and there, but it's always default to Street Fighter. Fighter. Yeah. I mean, given, you know, definitely we're not at the pro level, but I mean, we enjoy watching like the tournaments and everything. Um, it's it's just fun to follow, you know, it's, it's it's like sports, you know, like why do people watch sports? Like they're not going to be like as pro as like, you know, the NBA or, you know, NFL, but mm -hmm. you, you still just watch it, you still follow it, you still like the activity, so it's, it's more of a matter of that. And, um, the way that since you know we were just talking about Final Fantasy and just how it resurrected JRPGs, mm -hmm. like Street Fighter Four. did, yeah, Street Fighter Four, you know, the rise of like every fighting game like came back. I mean, there was like Tekken Six, like that was that was like kind of defaulted to come out, yeah, at, at, for PS3, but and it's always been like consistent, yeah, because they've been consistently releasing games, but like sort of. King of Fighters <laughs> came back. Yeah. Uh, they yeah. like, well, 12, 12. came out and, and then, then it bombed, was. And then they released 13. 13. And, and then was it was good. That one was sick. Yeah. And, um, you know, Mortal Kombat came back. In um, a big way. Yeah. That's huge. Super <laughs> impressive game. Nine. And so. And 10 especially. It's just, it's just good to see everything evolving from, you know, when we were kids, definitely. And. Yeah. Yeah. How how much how much they've been really just tailoring it, not just throwing out the release just for like fan sake or fan like fandom, but actually wanting to make it to like turn a tournament and competitive level because that's where gaming is at right now. Mm -hmm. As far as yeah. yeah, so most games are trying to hit the esports scene yeah. now. Yeah. A lot of the competitive ones at least. But then you get like Fallout Four. And then you get like other games that are not competitive, but they still have great story, like Witcher Three. Right. You know, you, yeah. you, you know, Metal Gear, Metal Gear, Far Cry. It's just good to like you know, have something them. you can just chill with, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's what I have mean. a variety. Mm -hmm. Like you can have your friends my chill game now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, even <laughs> yeah, <laughs> being a being a competitive shoot. I mean, I guess kind of competitive shoot. It's, it's still chill. Like, yes, yeah, it's, it's really casual. Yeah, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, this channel, The Unprofessionals, is a passion project that we decided to start. Uh, we chose a name because we're kind of just using whatever equipment we have to produce all this stuff and doing it on the side. And frankly, we're, <laughs> we're not professionals. Um, so this channel is going to be very dedicated to video games and movies for the most part. Well, and maybe we'll sprinkle some other topics in here and there. But yeah, that um, that is us in a nutshell. So we hope to share with the rest of you guys. Yeah. Thanks.